everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm, sweaty welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. I've just spent a magical week on the island of Bali, Indonesia, but today it's time to fly home. So here's my experience flying with Qatar Airways from Bali to Doha, then from Doha to London. I'm flying economy and on the second leg of the journey, I have extra leg room, thank goodness. I think I'm gonna need it. Let's go. Estimated journey time from Bali to London, including a three hour connection at Doha is approximately 19 and a half hours. Before that, if you'd like to see what I got up to in Bali, just search travel blog Jamie Bali. It's as simple as that. Come on, Mr. Palm Tree. I know you're gonna miss it as well. And my transfer is here, let's go. A taxi transfer from Ubud to the airport in Denpasar will take approximately one to one and a half hours depending on traffic. Well, we made it in very good time. Praying for aircon inside. Woo. Don't stand still on the Travelator. Well, in spite of the heavy traffic forecast uh, ahead of tomorrow's new year, that took one hour and 20 minutes from Uber to the main airport. What that means is I'm here way in advance. Shopping! Into the entrance and look at WH Smith. Sat comfortably next to a Two Dragons and Juice and Healthy Food Store. <laughs> oh, I like the look of this one. Oh, I see you right at the end. Desk C, gotcha. It is so hot in this airport. I don't see any fans around. Oh my goodness, I am sweating my cookies off here. Well, this is a wonderfully colorful souvenir shop, but I'm not sure I'm going home with any of these. Oh look, I found a rack. Balinese traditional rice spirit. So you need to take your luggage through uh, security first before check-in here. And for those of us who've checked in online, this be our entrance. Yeah, I just said that. Thank you though. Well, officially the slowest moving bag drop ever. Wow, that was painful. Just over an hour just to drop me bags. Very slow. Anyway, next job, immigration, because I am an immigrant. And finally, into the Disney shop. I mean, duty free. If you like your shopping, well, not bad actually. Some very nice products here. Oh God, they've got Toblerone. Does everywhere in the world have Toblerone? And of course, all your well-loved brands, even if you don't love them, they are still well-loved. You know that, don't you? Protector. I do love a splash of color in me shots. We got lots of eateries here as well. A wide range. Just one more. Good news, my bags are going all the way to London Heathrow. So when I get to Doha, I don't have to do anything other than eat and drink. As much as I love Bali, and I do like the look and feel of this airport, absolutely. And the people are lovely, of course. The operations are very slow. The Wi-Fi is shoddy AF. It's hotter than the sun in here and steamier than a Jackie Collins novel. Not a fan. Maffle will be pleased. The WH Smith here is not like the one in England. Souvenirs. You're welcome, Matthew. Seriously, look how nice it is in here. Wouldn't hurt to have a bit of air con, would it, eh? I see you. You better have my luggage on board. Pintu 8. I love that word. Can't hear a single word they're saying. No idea which zones go in. Right, 24D for me. I've chosen aisle seat so I can quickly zip to the loo and back if I need to. And here we go. I'm sorry for being a bit grumpy, but it's so hot in here and chaotic. All right, in we go. 24D, please. And here we are. And let the fatten begin. It's so, so hot on this plane, by the way. I'm literally sweating the cookies off again. Right, let's see what we've got here. Headphones. In this dinky little bag, we've got some flight socks, eye mask, earplugs, toothbrush and toothpaste. Gorgeous aubergine blanket and a little pillow. And legroom 
very good for economy actually, very pleased with that. Maneuverable, you know I like it maneuverable. Cooling down now, probably because I was going <laughs> like that for about 10 minutes. I'm getting less grumpy now as well. Sorry, I actually really do like flying. I just don't like faffing and I don't like overheating. That's just me. Very dramatic music on board. USB port, thank goodness. Just over 7,700 miles from home. I'm not going to Cape Town. I'm not going there, lady. <laughs> Qatar, you jokers. Loving these screens. And that's where we're heading. Just before departure, I like to set my time on my phone to that of the destination. This is just one strategy to help me tackle jet lag. Oh wow, it's raining really heavily out. You can access cameras at the rear, the front and underbelly of the plane. So we will have to wait before we can depart and when the visibility gets better. And it can take up to uh, 20 to 30 minutes. We do apologize for this inconvenience. Thank you. I can pass some time quite easily on this plane. Oh, it is still peeing down. We're going anyway. Look at the rainwater on the runway, that is so cool. Look, in some ways this is better than a window seat view, I love this. Sorry, I can't show you much more than that. A little bit bumpy. Some of the films on offer. Qatar's Privilege Club members will receive one hour of complimentary Wi-Fi. Alternatively, you can purchase Wi-Fi for the duration of the flight that's over nine hours for just 10 US dollars. I think this is excellent value. I'm also pleased to report back that the Wi-Fi worked very well indeed. You'll receive an email confirmation of your purchase. Drinks and meals are included in your airfare. Sour cream and chai pretzels. Nom nom nom. I must say they do a very nice savvy blanc on Qatar. Quite a turbulent flight so far, but I am rocking the calmness. Noted, Capitan. Yes, it's dinner time. This looks interesting. Sorry about the darkness in the cabin. Indonesian style vegetables to start. Some focaccia, and I'm actually having the chicken pasta. I just didn't fancy the beef uh, as much as I love curry. There was also uh, a vegetarian dish, a patu. And cheesecake for dessert. I mean, I think it's good that you've got a choice of three dishes in uh, economy. Actual cutlery, listen to it ching in away, ching ching ching, no plastic. Mm, those veggies actually might not look much, but they are full of flavour and spice. But the chicken is actually better quality than some of what I had on land. Hi Jamie Gelder.
Qatar Airways is the largest operator and global launch of the A350-1000. This aircraft is considered the most technologically advanced with the widest cabin body of any class, including vertical sidewalls and larger windows, the largest overhead bins of any aircraft offering more storage, the widest seats of any liner in its category, not to mention the most advanced air filtration systems. Q Suite is Qatar's celebrated business class model. I was lucky enough to experience a Q Suite on my way from London to Bali. If you'd like to see this experience, just search Travel Blog Jamie Qatar Airways Business Class. I can't believe it. Economy, you can expect a 3x3x3 three by three by three configuration. With a wide fuselage, the sense of space is notable, especially in comparison to other aircraft. Buy me another meal. So that's like a potato and pea salad. And that's a pesto pasta. And that's like a custard with a crumb. So that was described as a light meal. <laughs> I'm so full up. It was good. I'm still just a little bit in awe of how far from home I've been. Oh wow, look at this view, fantastic. Let's be having a nice gentle touchdown please Capitan. Oh my God. First leg done. We're back in Doha, babies. Alrighty, you've got about two hours and 15 minutes before the next flight, the last leg of this whole journey. Hello, baby. Oh, nice Starbucks. I'm going on in. Alrighty, A1, I'm coming for you. Well, that's nice and clear. Alrighty, it is time. And I'm so tired. Already seat 16K, which is extra leg room. Um, I paid about 60 pound for the privilege. Well, this is definitely the most tiring part of the whole journey now. Having crossed uh, four time zones. Oh, got a walk through business now to remind myself what I'm missing. And essentially in Bali, it would be gone 6 a.m. now, so pretty much missed a, a night's sleep, hoping to get some rest on this flight. Right, I am in 16K. <laughs> so no difference in the amenities. You've got your pillow, there's a blanket, headphones, and then you've got your uh, overnight pack as well. You've got a charging point down here, this time in the armrest. Time to set the next destination. Yep, very tired. We're on the moon. Pretty much on time. It's still maneuverable.
and that's it. I'm going to sleep. doubt about it extra legroom is a treat but be aware that the seat width is reduced ever so slightly because of the size of the armrests That was a smooth touchdown. Well done, Capitan. Nineteen hours later. Can you believe it? Seriously, I rocked it this week. Oh yes. And a very helpful alert from the Qatar Airways app. And now the big question: Did my luggage make it all the way here? Hello, hello. I think this might be Mr. Palm Tree. He looks a bit beaten up and he's soaking wet, eh? No mind. Priorities, my darlings, priorities. All right, next part of the journey for me, the Elizabeth line. My next chariot awaits. I made it. God bless me, eh? And I'm home. No one's here to say hello to me. Where are they all? <gasps> hello, darling shadow. Little kiss, come on. <laughs> oh, little baby flash. Husky, husky. You've got like a big rabbit, aren't you? Have you missed me? Have you missed me? Say hello to everyone. Hello, baby Flash. And in summary, wow, that was the longest flight of my life so far. But it was with Qatar Airways and they really are a special airline. In spite of being in economy, I have to say I felt these were very comfortable flights indeed facilities and amenities were both top-notch in my opinion not to mention the excellent value wi-fi for the entirety of the flight the fantastic food wonderful attentive service from the crew and in spite of adverse weather conditions in bali i actually got home on time Thank you all for your support in helping me reach 25,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my tiers 3, 4 and 5 patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Andrew Ford, I'm sorry for the typo. Thanks for watching and why don't we follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins. Also, X threads and Instagram at travel blog Jamie and of course here on YouTube. <laughs>